fuck is niggas talking about? Fuck is niggas talking about? Fuck is niggas talking about? Fuck is niggas talking about, boy? Fuck is niggas talking about, boy? Hating ass niggas, man. Look at the hating ass niggas in the fucking chat. Good player, but it ain't like you got KD or somebody. You block KD, nigga. Okay. Nigga, fuck KD, nigga. Hold on. Niggas got me teed up right now. Fuck KD, nigga. That's how I'm feeling. Fuck KD. 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 Fuck KD, yeah, Kevin Durant. Yeah. He don't fit in. He ain't even white skin. Trey Mond don't care because that nigga be snitching. He look like the nigga say, who don't got no bitch? Fuck KD, nigga. Matter of fact, I love KD. Matter of fact, I love KD because if he never asked for that trade, niggas would never traded for Mikel Bridges. Mikel Bridges would have never came here, nigga. Fuck, I love KD, nigga. I love KD, nigga. Anyways, all right, that's the Knicks. Let me let me address you, niggas. Use a bitch. React to A-Rap. Fuck Trinidad, nigga. This is about New York. Yo, Zay, you know Julio Fulio Pass? Uh, God is good, nigga. What up, my monkey? What the fuck? Bitch? You fucking troll? All they gotta do is a seven-game series with the Hawks, nigga. Y'all still gonna be ass. None but ass. First round exits, nigga. You can get the bust down Honda Civic. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all came in here to dick rod. Boston going back to back. You're not even a Boston fan. You just dick sucking. What the fuck? This nigga is from the Bay. You better root for fucking uh Clay not shooting Zerf for 10 in the elimination game, nigga. What the fuck? Tim Owen is not crazy. Mom, the crackhead at the porch again. Bridges is ass. Now he's better than your favorite player. L Knicks. You don't even watch sports, you fat bitch. Anyways. Anyways, nigga. Now that we got that out the way, look at this shit. Chat, look at this shit. Now we got the Knicks out the way. The Knicks is not even out the way, nigga. We got, we didn't give up no plays. We gave up Bojan Bojanovic. Uh, I love him. Power forward, shooter. But he didn't even play in the playoffs, basically, nigga. He, he got hurt. It, it is what it is. He was always going to be another uh, flippable asset, my nigga. But we gave up seven draft picks. <sighs> four unprotected first round picks. Now we need to be good so those picks won't ever matter. But four unprotected round picks. Seven picks from McCall Bridge is kind of crazy. We did overpay. But we're also trying to keep OG. Now niggas are saying, niggas are saying, oh, fuck OG. Niggas don't care about OG no more. Nigga, yes, we do. You seen what the fuck uh, Bucks did. You see what Milwaukee did. They gave up Drew. For Dane, which I never wanted. I always wanted them together and give up Chris, but obviously that wasn't going to happen. Nigga. They needed Drew because Drew was more valuable. But they gave up Drew, and guess what? He got sent to fucking Boston. They get, basically gave him the chip. It was already having one of the best teams. Then you add Drew, nigga. Drew and Derek Ray in the backcourt is crazy, nigga. So do we really want OG to go somewhere else? Do we want that nigga to go to OKC? Do we want that nigga to go to Philly? No. We just went six games with Philly. Yeah, we wasn't fully healthy, but neither was them, nigga. Joel and B dropped 50 on one leg. We need Mikel on the corner. I mean, Mikel as a wing and OG as a wing. Imagine two, three, and D wings. That really locked down. That really knock it down. Next to Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, Dante DiVincenzo, Isaiah Hart. It's, come on. Come on. Like, Nick's really about to have a parade, bro. And not getting that chip, Twinski, bro. You you love you dick ride New York so much. You don't want us to have a chip, nigga. Knicks fans get excited like this every offseason. That's actually not true. We've only got excited for the last three years because the last three years we made power moves, dickhead. What the fuck? Ah, come to the Nets. <laughs> come to the Knicks. No, nigga, we going to the Knicks. Come to the fucking Knicks, boy. And he's never missed a game. This is literally Iron Man all 82 every season. Even, even on that final trip with the Suns. Tibbs can't kill this nigga, right? He, he won't get injured under Tibbs, right? No way. And OG. Bro, imagine having OG and Mikel both wings, boy.
Y'all look alike. Thank you. Wait, who y'all talking about? You talking about OG or Mikel Bridges? Dr. Lupo Petto? Why? Why you say that? Nick's curse. He will get hurt. That's disrespectful. OG not signing on y'all? He better. It makes no sense for him not to sign. Where else would he go? OKC? Nah, that'll be fire. What? Philly? Why would he go to Philly? What the fuck? They're not going to win shit. You might as well be with the team that you was already with. We would have definitely made the conference finals fully healthy. And we would have actually won at least two games against Boston. They would have still won the chip. I'm going to keep it a stat. But, feel me? Those two wings, Mikel and OG, bro, we match up perfectly with Boston, bro. Well, they match up perfectly with us, too. If you really want to think about it, we do get OG and keep everybody and shit. But we just better. Because you got to think about it. Who's their best player in the playoffs is Jalen Brown. And Jalen Brunson is arguably the best player in the playoffs of 2023-2024 season. Drew's not stopping that. Derrick White's not stopping that. Nah, Derrick White is different, bro. I can't lie. That I ain't gonna lie. That Boston team is different for the simple fact that they got two all-NBA players and they have two all-defensive players. And then they have four all-stars. Like, that team is really fucking different. But our bench is going to be better. For sure. And I really think we can lock these niggas down, bro. That Porzingis train fell up the whole East, bro. The Celtics really gave up Marcus Smart for Porzingis. Now nah, I don't think Porzingis fucked up. I think, first of all, I think Celtics was the best team for the last three years now. So that's why I didn't understand why niggas kept saying, oh, they're going to win the chip, win the chip, win the chip. I'm like, bro, are y'all fucking retarded? Like, let them win the chip before you just give it to them. Because they had the best team for like three and a half years now, and they still haven't won. Then they got Drew Holiday and things fucking changed. But I was still like, hold on, hold on. Feel me? Then they go out and get the best record. But I still wasn't wrong because the teams that I thought they would be matched up against, they actually got their ass beat by them this year. I'm not talking about the fucking Luka Doncic Mavs. I never even believed in them niggas. They won because of matchups. Let's just keep it a buck. They, the best matchup they had this year was OKC. But OKC was too young to fuck with them. OKC was too young to fuck with them. Nuggets versus Celtics. Now, could the Celtics still beat all the teams that in the finals that I'm bringing up? Yes, of course. And nigga, we don't know what would happen. Celtics, was, in my opinion, would still be the favorites. But look, Nuggets beat both beat them both times. Beat them both times. Let's go, Clippers. Clippers. God damn! Now, 145 to 108 is fucking vicious. But this is before the Harden trade, right? No, it's not. This is the beginning of the Harden trade. This is, what, this is the beginning of the Harden trade with poor George. No Kawhi and all of that. But look at when the t both teams are fully healthy and fully, like, meshed. Look at what happens when both teams are fully healthy and fully meshed. You know what I mean? This nigga had eight points. No, Jalen Brown. What the fuck did you do this game? Derek White had two points. What the fuck? <laughs> two out of seven. Yo, they locked these niggas down. <laughs> Yo, they locked these niggas down, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Bro, if Derek White had two points during the... Did Derek White even have less than 10 this whole entire playoff run? What the fuck? But yeah, basically what I'm saying is, nigga, niggas who actually matter... Not the fucking Mavs or Kyrie who lost to these niggas like 17 straight. You know what I mean? If these niggas matched up with the Celtics, it would have been a good finals in my opinion. But Clippers can't stay healthy, so that's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault but their own. And then you got, what's it called? The Nuggets who just failed. They failed. They, they finally got matched up with somebody who they got matched up like in 2020 versus the Lakers. They had size, pause. They had a star. And they had some um good performances, you know, but they did come back. They did come back and make it a seven-game series, but in the end, it was just too much, you know. I really hope PG doesn't go to Golden State Warriors, but I don't give a fuck. Golden State can get whatever they want. They'll never be better than the Knicks. Especially if y'all keep Clay. What the fuck? <clears throat> Wait, the Rockets are gearing up picks to convince the Suns to trade them Kevin Durant? Really? I don't think so. 
I thought I thought they I thought a report just came out and said that this is not happening. What the fuck is going on? Where three teams in two years is fucking outrageous. I thought this I thought there was a report that this is not gonna happen. I think Wolves just said it. Uh Okay, okay, okay. They're just gearing up to like, they'll be the favorites to get Kevin Durant because they're getting all the Suns picks that they gave out. Damn, we might not be able to sign Isaiah if we keep OG. I can't lie, we can't let OG go. I love Isaiah. But we can't let OG go. Not saying that one is more important than the other. But if we put Isaiah on any other East team, I'm not scared. But if we put OG on another East team, like it just becomes more difficult and annoying. Like for what? Ah, oh, bro. The Suns GM is so dumb. Hello, you went and got two ISO players around book. Just build around book. They did build around book and they went to the finals. And then they traded everybody. Fucking dickheads, bro. Fucking dickheads. Like, I get that's KD, but y'all didn't see what the fuck just happened in Brooklyn? But in their defense, right? In their defense, they were like, oh, well, Brooklyn did kind of work because let's keep it a buck. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a big Giannis fan, and I'm glad he won his chip, but all three of them healthy, I, 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 the Bucks do not win a championship. I'm so sorry. The Nets come out the East. The Nets come out the East. And then they play the Suns? Oh my god, that's free bread, bro. That's literally free bread. What the fuck? Like, we all know that team couldn't play defense and their chemistry was all. But, like, when they was really all three on the court and Harden was, like, damn near the best point guard in the A. Kyrie was the best shooting guard, 50-40-90. And KD was KD. That team was something crazy, bro. That team was literally something fucking crazy. Damn, bro. Did I get off of Twitter now before I see something wrong? Look at the boys. Look at the boys. Lakers and Nets would have been the 2020 finals if everyone stayed healthy. No, what the fuck? Nah, the Lakers definitely should never broke up that team, though. You don't always get what you want. You get what you need. Facts. Niggas wanted this dumbass Duke trio. This nigga's ass. This nigga's ass. And this nigga's fat as fuck. <laughs> Look what we got, bro. We got a fucking late second round pick. What was this nigga? Was he a first round pick? A Lakers reject, nigga. Uh, uh, Golden State nigga could barely shoot in Golden State, but came here and took all Clay's powers. Fucking Iron Man. Like, oh, man, God is good. And y'all wanted this to happen and trade Julius. No, nigga, we keeping Julius. All right, I think that's enough Nick's uh, rant.